I have a tradition, um, uh, flower boy. <laughs> if you've gone to a of our town hall meetings here, I've met a friend of mine, uh, a brother from another mother, I guess. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, he normally asked me to uh, ask your question. You know, I, I, okay, first I just want to give you an anecdote. It's a Bible anecdote, which I think you like. I've been following this other as candidate. Long as you behave, we'll keep doing this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But I, I think I, you're going you're to like this one. It, it's another candidate. His name rhymes with lump. And uh, I've, I've tried to. <laughs> I, I've, I've tried to ask him this question, and it's, it says that it's noble to seek the office of overseer. However, he that does should be, uh, well, let me look at this real quick, above reproach, not quarrelsome, sober-minded, only married once, and not a lover of money. Now, th th this candidate <laughs> that, that rhymes with lump, I, you know, I, just, I can't get to him. He's, he's not the nice sort of guy you are. And I think that the thing is, is that all of these, I think you fit these categories. Well, thank you. So, so here's, here's, here's uh, I've been thinking about this because uh, we do get together uh, here and other places too. He travels, he travels, uh, lives in Boston, travels around. And so um, he, he's asked me to pray for peace each time. And I've looked at a prayer that I want to give because it's relevant for the job that I'm seeking. And this was the prayer, this was a letter that George Washington sent at the end of his service to the states, to the governors of the states to kind of describe the state of affairs, uh, this extraordinary man, the leader of our, the father of our country. And so if you don't mind, I'm gonna read this prayer because it, it fits uh, a lot of what I believe. Almighty God, we make our earnest prayer that thou will keep the United States in thy holy protection, that thou will incline the hearts of the citizens to cultivate a spirit of subordination and obedience to government that's old school, not the current state of affairs. And to entertain a brotherly affection and love for one another and for their fellow citizens of the United States at large. And finally, that thou will most graciously and be, be pleased to dispose us all to do justice, to love mercy, and to demean ourselves with the charity, humility, and pacific temper of mind, which were the characteristics of the divine author of our blessed religion, and without a humble imitation of whose example in these things we can never hope to be a happy nation. Grant our supplication, we beseech thee, through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. George amen. Washington. Thanks, man. All right. That was great.